The candidates for Guam Attorney General, leaving Camacho and Douglas Moreland, took turns taking jabs at one another. The AG decides what cases should be prosecuted, what cases shouldn't be prosecuted, assesses what your resource capability is. That's why they call him a general. They call him a general because he hires the troops, the deputies, in order to protect you. This man is not doing that. He is incompetent. Now, one of the things that Attorney Mullen forgot to leave out in terms of an accomplishment or something notable, he was evicted from the judiciary for not failing to pay rent. So if we're going to talk about incompetence and management, he was held by the court, the Supreme Court, to have violated a court order, this is in a Supreme Court opinion, to not discuss or interfere in an ongoing criminal matter. Now, I'm not here to run on what Attorney Moylan did when he was in office, but to say that somehow I'm incompetent. The questions coming from the Guam Chamber of Commerce, the discussion focused on crime and safety. This election is about whether you feel safe. It's about Guam's increasing crime problem. Everyone deserves to feel safe in their home and in their workplace. And today, people are scared. The pair asked how they would handle plea deals for drug cases. You need to have plea agreements. But he is giving away the farm on how he's doing his plea agreements. His opening statement said it all. For serious crimes, we're going to incarcerate people. No, you do not. And that is a progressive statement. You incarcerate anyone that commits the crime. You ask the judge to incarcerate them. I know Mr. Moylan is a big fan of mass incarceration. But we can't just bury our head in the sand and think that you're going to put someone in jail and that's going to magically cure their addiction problem. I want to be clear, if you are bringing in drugs, if you are dealing drugs, you need to be held accountable. You need to go to jail. When asked what they would do in their first 90 days... I'm recruiting. That is the top priority to fix what this Attorney General has done to that office. We've done all this, the collections, the litigation, in COVID. All I'm asking for is a chance to continue. Give me four real years, not COVID years finish the work and to complete the job that I've started. First time I've ever heard of COVID years. That sounds like an excuse. He should have used that time to protect us. Just because we're in a lockdown doesn't mean that the criminals are in a lockdown. Each one picking apart their management styles and answering to the concern that criminals are easily being let out of prison. We are in the community. Our prosecutors live here. They want the bad guys to stay in jail. They don't want them out. They are victims themselves. So to act like our dedicated prosecutors somehow want to crime to be rampant is ridiculous. Mr. Camacho is wrong. The prosecutors put the cases together. They go before the grand jury. They have the police reports. The people deserve protection. It's not happening in the AG's office. You can't stand up here with a straight face and say the decision to release a defendant is the AG's decision. That's absolutely false. It's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong.